hi guys it's Cody here today uh, in this video we're gonna learn something about how to integrate a login with Google account feature in uh, the existing login system so for that I'm gonna use my existing code uh, right here so you can see uh, there is an index page uh, there's a dashboard page and there's a logout page so these are all the things so I'm gonna do uh, what we're gonna do is uh, just create a login with Google feature in this area okay just integrate it that's it so first we need uh, two things one is a API client package and another is the credentials it's a it's the basic major part so before that I'm gonna check this uh, whether it's working or not so one two three four five six so here we go it's working so it's a simple login system so just I'm gonna do some basic fingerings right here because it's not looks like a password so I'm gonna do like password right and I'm gonna do just like mysqli sqli real escape it's going to need uh, two parameters first one is uh, connection link and uh, the second one is the data variable so so I'm going to pass in a uh, connection and then data variable that's it copying it paste it right here so dollar underscore connection so this code is covered up uh, in my previous video you can go ahead and say watch that cool. so I'm gonna do just copy paste it and I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna remove this allow and then I'm gonna add a tag and then image tag with an image I'm gonna pass in google dot png I have a file on that location so let's check yeah so this is the thing so i'm gonna uh, just align this to sender both of the buttons and then i'm gonna add some white spacing right down here so just inspect this area okay so website here it is so we need 350 yeah copy this and here's the style paste it for this alignment I'm gonna use uh, text center and then text center it's a bootstrap class which is present inside the bootstrap library so yeah it's working so fine so we are good with this so after that uh, we need uh, two things right so first thing is a library for downloading the Google API client for I'm gonna use KCMD and redirect to this location exam hatchery docs YouTube and then login sys this is it and I'm gonna type in composer Recure, Recure, Google, okay, API client, C L I E N T, okay, okay, just like that. So it will download uh, the things like uh, Google API package for via the composer. If you don't know uh, how to install composer, there's a video in our channel. Yo yes it's done actually five packages has been uploaded so we can just go ahead and add this youtube login says uh there you go these are the files actually which is downloaded and then we need our uh, api credentials so for that i'm going to go to the location called console 
console.developers.google.com I guess this must be that one yeah this is a site actually so I already have a new project right uh, YouTube CD so I'm gonna create a new project for you to understand what is happening here so just uh, YouTube uh cd like codes and fix projects okay okay i'm gonna save this app and then i'm gonna go to the credential part and i'm gonna credential part i'm going to credential part and then i'm gonna add or create credentials like this credential so we need to go make sure uh, your newly created project will be selected after that you have to configure this content screen this one is a external type application so the application name the application name is so uh, we're gonna call it as okay course and text just as course and Tricks. okay so I'm gonna save this after that uh, I'm gonna go to the credential part again and then I'm gonna create a auth client ID and there we have to select web application and then we have to add a URL authorized redact URL so I'm gonna copy this URL right here and then paste it right there so create it you will be getting two keys actually one is client id here you go this is a client id so i'm going to copy this and uh, paste it right here and same thing for i'm copying it the client secret as well so here you go so we have a package ready so I'm gonna type something some code so first we need to include that autload.php so include include vendor vendor slash autoload dot php so there you go so what I'm trying to do is just including this file right here this file that's it so okay I'm gonna include this one and within that file uh, there's a class called uh, Google client so we are going to use that cli Google client uh, object so I'm gonna create a variable called Google 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 sorry for my typo new so this way we can we just create a new object so in this object we're gonna set something like client secret and client ID that's it so Google set client ID first okay and then I'm gonna duplicate it and client secret secret and I'm gonna duplicate it um redirect URI redirect D I R E C T direct U R I make sure these functions are pretty correct okay so I'm gonna copy this right here and I'm gonna paste it right here okay then I'm gonna copy this one the client secret and paste it and I'm gonna go to this area and get my reader UI that's it you got it right so we have to set this link right so for this i'm gonna set like php um dollar google 
create auth url it's a function which will provide you the exact uh, url you want to hit that's it so i'm just pasting that one so you can now see it will have the url and inspect here okay there you go you have an inspect url here right so uh, we need to add some scope here so uh, scope is nothing but what type of data you want to get that's it so i'm gonna add just scope scope add scope uh, we want a email id so i'm gonna put email right here and i'm gonna duplicate this one and again i'm gonna edit this line into profile profile okay so these two things are we uh, which is very much necessary for this tutorial so we are basically uh, we are, we just want to get uh, user information from google server so that uh, we can um, use that information to authenticate our users okay so after that uh, i'm gonna create sorry i'm not gonna create i'm just clicking it it will it will going for this here you can see course and text this is uh, basically uh, not the project id but the oauth consent screen id got it consent screen this is oauth consent screen so this this is the name which comes right here okay if you want to add something some material like uh, uh, images or something like that you can uh, directly do that just here 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 just like that okay so i'm going forward so i'm gonna ask them to get what is happening nothing happened right you think everything happened right so we need to get some data from the google servers right first uh, we just authenticated just um what i'm trying to say is we just uh, use these credentials to contact the google server it returns something called authentication code this is the authentication code uh, by this we don't get any user information we uh, we need something called access token so how to get that only uh, access token uh, we can able to get the user information so for that there is a function called fetch access token access token with fetch access token with what uh, with auth auth sorry for my typo auth code okay so where we get this auth code right here there so i'm gonna copy this and how to get the url data just by get variables get super globals so get of code so code okay good so this will uh, produce a token so token u o c k n okay token. sorry for my typo <laughs> okay this will uh, get us a token so before that i'm gonna set like um if is set of dollar underscore get of code okay get of course if the token is available in the url then we have to proceed that's the thing that's the simple logic so so we have to print that right so i'm gonna print it right here i'm gonna echo 
go a pre tag pre tag and then print or of token yeah here I go sorry token right here okay so let's uh, refresh this page yeah there you go you get your token this is access token it will express in this has a scope of user info email and user info profile so this is access token which is very much necessary so by this access token how we get that uh, how we get the user information so that is a function called set access token so we need to set dollar google once again dollar google set access sorry access token set access token to token token of access token because it is an array so sorry here I go so this set we just set the access token to this Google object then we have a new brand new uh, class for getting um, contents from the Google area. we have uh, the access token so that's a new class so Google services so I'm gonna uh, create a new variable called Google service and I'm gonna assign it as an object for Google not a client actually it's a it's a service so Google so service underscore what so or at ATH two of the object Google okay so by this object Google service object you can able to get the information so like um, user info that's user info and then just get and I'm gonna print this P or I and print this set. okay there you go we have to check this right so whether it's working or not so we have to check this with if a set of dollar underscore token if the token is set then we have to proceed further okay otherwise it will give you an error right so I'm gonna do it like exactly the same as we do before okay now we are ready to go so I'm gonna save it and hit refresh again there an error so we have to re-authenticate the things because it will expire soon right so so I'm gonna remove this console and click the login with sign in with this thing. Okay, now you can see my name, family name is Miller, and my given name is Cody, and your email is this one, and the picture is present right here. You got it right. So I'm gonna set this to a data variable like data. So after that what we're gonna do is um, we have to integrate it right here right so how to do that if the login is set we are just removing it our login system works a little bit different so if set I'm gonna correct this code and go 
on the earth line where it is data so here it is so I'm removing it I just go to here and remove all these things and just get refresh so so I'm gonna set this to our I'm gonna set this like how to do that so session um, username is equal to data of actually given name right given name I guess this might this must be the card one uh, okay so data of given name okay so we have to cut that and paste it right here so okay hit refresh I'm gonna print the data which is working it's printer of data that's it so so login with Google okay now we get everything but we are not redirected to uh, dashboard right so give a name is give a name right here so Cody is here so where is the Cody okay here we go I'm renaming it and I'm gonna set some other variables like family name into this one so how to append that just put a dot and paste it right here that's it family name dollar underscore reader so I guess this is okay we need some space right so I'm gonna do like this one okay Cody Miller will be there so and again I'm gonna set to what if if there's an access token we can get something like this and after that we are gonna do something like dollar uh, underscore session of we just made a login with the different thing right so I'm gonna set to true so T R U E true that's it so if the login is set it will be going to this area our login logic is simple we just match with our uh, database and then set if the record found just set to true and set username and redirect to dashboard.php that's it if it's not a uh, proper logged in properly logged in we just going to uh, do like uh, login is, is set to false and just echoing it in valid logging that's it so if uh, we are uh, we are logging with Google the same thing happens we are setting the username that's it and then we just uh, do uh, what uh, login to true that's it so let's check whether our login system is works or not so now it's not working I guess we are not redirecting to the dashboard page so we just have an error right here or uh, says like uh, cannot modify the headers so why we cannot modify the headers it's simple uh, because we just uh, pr start printing the data so before we print something into the HTML we have to do that so I'm gonna copy this code right here okay I'm gonna copy this code right here and paste it above copy and paste it right here okay so I'm gonna remove that uh, below code I just want to cut it I just forgot to cut it so that I just copied okay I'm gonna remove it so that's it so I'm gonna remove this all things like where it is where it is where it is okay I'm gonna remove some other things I need to remove some other things like but okay I don't want to print it and I don't this is not necessary and this is not necessary that's it so
okay we are just got into this area so we just forgot the logout part so we have to log out we have to log we have to log out means we have to follow some other things right here so i'm gonna copy this thing and paste it right here we have to revoke that so there's a function called uh, google revoke token what will happen is uh, it will just invalidate the token that's it so for this we are just copying this this again and again so i'm gonna copy this file this code right here copy it and creating a new file called controls i'm um, pasting it sorry control z copy cut it paste it php paste it and this one is not needed because okay save it like just a config or uh, google config yeah google config google config fig right fig dot php that's it so i'm gonna include this file right here that's it let's start include file what file google google underscore con fig dot php that's it so by this way we do we don't want to repeat it ourselves like a uh, couple of times so copying it sorry copying it and paste it right here okay that's it we just don't want this bit of code that's it okay we just check it whether it's working or not mm, okay first cody cody one two three four five six login here you go we got a login mm. there is a different error right here so we just need to include this so i'm gonna copy this file and include it right here okay so i'm removing it right here okay just to log out it's logging out okay so first again i'm gonna check out this thing okay cody one two three four five six summit it will go to this area and log out yeah it's logging out if you are going to log in with google it's logging in uh if you want to log out it's perfectly log out if we'll check with this like dashboard.php we are not allowed okay so uh there's another thing we just get it and not using it so I'm gonna copy this uh, copy and paste it and there is a variable called picture I guess picture or uh, this way you can get uh, the image so um, user image we can call it as user image okay user image okay so user image okay user image okay so i'm gonna set this to okay uh, print it right here so how to print it simple um img okay um dollar underscore session session of user image you got it right so this way we can print the url of image i said okay we have to check whether this has an image or not so for that we have to use uh, some php logic just like simple logic just
if is set the same function if you set of um, image variable then we have to do like proceed with this thing if it's not just closing it we don't want to print it right so that's it okay let's try what we got login yep we got an image right if you sorry I'm gonna log out here and if I go to Cody Miller one two three four five six yeah there's no image this is it for this video thanks for watching guys have a nice day cheers